Well, hello again, fellow YouTubers. Uh, this is DM Blair Wolf, and uh, this is the first model here that I made with my uh, 3D printer. Um, it took about an hour and 30 minutes to print. Um, I didn't print it at a very uh, high resolution. I think I printed it at a point one. Um, it's just a little rowboat, so I didn't think it needed to be super duper detailed. Um, it was actually just a test run to see if uh, I could figure out how to work the uh, circuit or the the menu board and send information from the laptop to here. It was just a sort of a uh, a, a, a test, really. Um, everything that uh, I plan to print so far is from uh, open source. Um, software. Um, it's let me look here. Um, so uh, I have to put my put my code in here so I can start up my home screen. Uh, I'm using a slicer program through uh, G-Code to be able to uh, do all the files um, to do all the files from uh, the SLU that they, I think it is SLU that they're downloaded in and then they have to be converted to uh, G-Code and the slicer then converts it to G-Code and then I can put it on the uh, on the uh, memory card and then put it into the uh, printer and then select what I want to print from there. Um, one other thing is my my table's heated so um, I left this sit just a few minutes while I'm talking to you because I, I, I have a feeling that if I try to yank it right away it might chip or crack. Um, it has a lot of sprues so you can see still on it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel up this tape and uh, see if I can get this thing off here. The table's hot. So, here's the boat. As you can see, it still has a lot of sprues all over it. It needs cleaned up yet. Here's the bottom. Um... When you first start to print, it does an outline of the area in which it'll be printing in, and then it prints inside that area. Um, I plan to uh, clean this up and uh, get it going, and uh, I'm going to reposition the uh, camera, and then I'll show you how I plan to clean this up and make it look more like a boat. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, as you can see, I have the boat and a pair of clippers. Before I get started, though, So, all these 
little bits and things. I'm going to uh, I'm going to attempt to clean them up. Now, I'm not too sure how this will handle paint. Um, I might just give it like a quick coat of brown and a wash. Um, I still have to print out the ores yet. It comes with some ores. But, uh... I'll clean out this little middle section where the uh, miniature can stand. I'll show you kind of like what I'm gearing towards here. See? Um, maybe I might have to take a, uh, a uh, file, like an emery board to it, or something to final, like give it a final sanding. I don't know. Um, this is all, like her starts is just like, it's all trial and error for me at this point. Um, I don't really see many videos on YouTube on how to, uh, I mean, there's a couple guys, a couple of the crafters who are doing it, but they sort of, uh, they have a different printer than me. They're probably using a different software. Um, now, when I got my printer, the laptop I had wouldn't run it. It was too slow. So, I had to buy a brand new laptop, too. So, I got a, I got a little bit of money sunk into this, and I'm hoping that this will uh, be worth my, worth my investment. There's a... Uh, There's uh, two pounds of filament on a reel over there. Um, when I'm done with the boat, I'll uh, kind of pan around and show you uh, the setup and everything that's going on here. Stuff behind the camera you can't see. Uh, I hope I'm talking loud enough that you guys can hear me. Um, I'm certain the uh, microphone's like right near me, so I'm, I'm sure you should be able to hear me pretty well, I hope. If you guys know of any uh, uh, open source programs that work well with the uh, Prusa i3, feel free to post them in the comments down below. I've just been using, I think, Thingiverse. I think is where I've been getting most of my downloaded files that I have right now. Once I get to know the program uh, ZBrush that I uh, got, I'm going to start to design some things. So as you can see, it's it's cleaning up. I mean. It's a little tedious, and these snips they sent with the, uh, that's another thing, they sent me all the tools I needed to build this. Um, sent me the snips, uh, screwdrivers, and a whole other bag of wrenches, and 
stuff like that that it all came with it so you don't have to worry about having the right tools now I went with a, a uh, printer that needed to be built I had to build it myself um, I had thought about getting one that was already put together but I thought the best way to learn the parts and learn how the machine works and to understand it better would be to build it so I mean I would never know that the names of the parts or anything I mean I, now I do I know what everything is and where it goes and how it works so that's the reason I got the uh, the kit the do-it-yourself kit gonna try and leave my little mess here in a little pile so you can see how much was lost um, I think my uh, printer may have a setting where I can ex uh, I can draw the ex the filament back up into the extruder when it lifts and moves to the next spot but I haven't figured out exactly how to uh, calibrate that yet so right now I have to deal with a little bit of waste that I have here I guess and I'm gonna have till I can figure it out but it doesn't seem like much is lost at least so far in the uh, final product um, I don't know if with uh, some of the printers that are already built and stuff I don't know if there's the same problem of having to deal with cleaning up the sprues or not um, I'm not too sure um, at this point I can only give any information on what I'm experiencing Not bad. I want to build a uh, a large kind of a uh, scenery with uh, hills and trees and stuff, and this is going to be perfect for that because I'll be able to print out the trees and then put flock on them. And make my life a little easier and make my budget a little cheaper, I hope.
stuff's pretty hard. It's going to be a durable little boat, I think. Pretty durable, I hope. That lasts for a while. <laughs> As long as the dog don't get a hold of it, <laughs> I think it's a chew toy. It's almost like trying to take a cast off. Like I, I broke my arm once when I was a teenager. And uh, I uh, took my my own cast off. I was in the uh, in the yard with a hacksaw, and because I'm a I'm a drummer in a band, and I've been in bands since I was a teenager, and uh, I hacksawed off my own cast about a week before I was supposed to, just so I could go to band practice. <laughs> And this is kind of what it reminds me of, like cutting through plaster. <clears throat> Just a little more here to go on the bottom. So, essentially this is it. I mean, I don't know if we can get any of this outer, like, overrun off, overspill. See this here? That's pretty nifty. So, there's the finished boat. I maybe could have turned the resolution from a millimeter to like point oh, well, point seven five maybe, or I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I haven't messed around with that much. Um, I'm sure there's some sort of program out there that I can start to use that might be a little more efficient, but it seems like Slicer works the best. Nothing's on there. Yeah, I think these are supposed to come off. So you have the holes for the oars, but as you can see, that's not coming out too well.
It's not so bad though. I mean, for the first run, it's a pretty good little test model. Now, it does need a final touch-up. <coughs> Excuse me. But, I'll show you here. There's all the little bits that went flying. I want to show you how much overage there was. There you go. This little rowboat had that much overage left on it, I guess, sprues or, or uh, extra plastic. So, this is the printer here. And the uh, filament goes back to a a school back there and then this is the uh, laptop that I'm using to run the program but I thought you guys would like to see now that it's built and it's done its first model what uh, what it can do I seen that uh, on the uh, open source program, there's a lot of miniatures and stuff like that that can be printed. <laughs> so maybe I'll maybe I'll try printing a villain or something and or a miniature and see how that goes. Um, but pretty much uh, that's the first model. And um, if you guys have any questions or any ideas or any tips or uh, hints on how to get better quality or to have less waste feel free to leave it in the comments below when you go out from this video and there's all those you know other videos and you go down and where the comment section is down there at the bottom feel free to uh tell me what you think and uh till next time guys this is uh the M Blair wolf and uh all i can say really is just Keep on crafting, set goals, and uh, realistic goals. Set realistic goals and, uh, you know, keep on working hard. Till next time, guys, I'll uh, talk to you later.